Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're out in Winnetka at Fuel Fed, and I'm here with Joe Borch. Joe, good to see you. Good to see you. And jo Joe is a concept car, in my opinion, kind of a legend. Some amazing things he's done with some of the cars that are concept cars, and today he's got a great car. Joe, I'm going to grab the camera. So uh, what did you bring here today? Well, today we have the 1955 Chrysler Gia Falcon. Uh, it's designed by Virgil Exner. It's on a Chrysler 300 chassis shortened of course and uh, it was typical for Chrysler to have their concept cars done by Gia. Okay. And this is, uh, car is considered to be Virgil Exner's greatest design and many people agree with that. It's also the car that uh, many people have said had they um, manufactured it, put it into production, it would have seriously affected Corvette and Thunderbird of the day because, of course, it's a 1955. Sure. So it's called the 1955 Chrysler Kia Falcon, designed by Virgil Exner Sr. Well, step right alongside me. Let's take a look at the car. Come on back. Joe, right back here. We're going to talk right there. So, Joe, this is the beautiful front end of your car. Right. Obviously, the concept cars are one-offs. I mean, this is it. Yeah, right. These, these were, you know, would start on a... Uh, a blank piece of paper and Virgil would uh, draw it up and they'd make it in clay and then they'd uh, take the chassis that they wanted to use, they'd uh, cut the dimensions to the chassis uh, to the size that uh, they wanted it to be and then they sent everything over to Gia in uh, Italy and uh, Gia would produce the car in metal and send it back here as a show car. What's interesting about this is that um, these cars, when they were bringing them in, the customs decided that they wanted to put a heavy duty on them, and uh, Chrysler didn't want to pay that. So what they did was they um, made a deal with customs that if they sent the car back out of the country in, I believe, 18 months, that uh, the car not be charged duty. So all these Kia cars were eventually sent out of the country. Some actually went to Hawaii, which wasn't a state at the time. And a lot went to South America and some went back to Europe. Uh, this car went to South America, was down there and was actually a driver. It's one of the highest mileage concept cars that exist. Uh, it has uh, well, probably 17,000 miles. Most concept cars have anywhere from 50 to about uh, two or three hundred. So it's a, it's a real driver. Of course, we drove it down here today. And one of the most interesting things I like about the car is the way he took the rear bumper and integrated it into the tail light. I mean, it's just amazing. All the styling cues on this car are amazing. And of course, the way he balanced them all out is, uh, is very interesting. That is amazing. I love the way the bumper here separates off the bumper here. Just spectacular. Yeah. Well, a lot of people have said that if they made this car again, it would have been uh, very, very competitive. And why they didn't, nobody knows. But I've had people here today say that had they, if they made this car today, it would look very contemporary. When you drove this car here today, what's people's reactions? Well, I mean, you know, when you drive this car down the road, I mean, people stop, they turn around. People that you wouldn't expect <laughs> to be looking at a car, you know, yeah. some old, older women and things like that who don't look like they have any interest in cars uh, will stop, turn around, and watch the car go by. This is the kind of car that pulls that attention. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Sure. Uh, you'll notice here that the door handle, if you push the button, the door handle pops out. And then inside, you'll see uh, a very simple design, but in really good taste. It has actually a glove box in between the two seats, kind of like a roll-top desk. It has the wooden steering wheel. And uh, interestingly enough, the shift, of course, is in the um, center there, and there's no indicator, so you just have to know what, what gear you're shifting into. And it's an automatic transmission, and it's powered by a Chrysler 300 engine, so it has uh, 300 horsepower. 300 horsepower. Very, very nicely. Yeah, 300 horsepower in uh, 55 is spectacular. Well, especially with a lightweight uh, body and chassis relative to a full size Chrysler 300, it's probably a thousand pounds less at least. Is that a 10 or a 12? That's just amazing. All right, let's um, get the 
pedals. Yeah, and let's, also let's, you, you, I know there's power you, windows too. Yeah, it has power windows. And you know, just things like the way he designed the interior door here. I mean, everything is done in really, really good taste and the styling cues are just great. But one of the important things is how you mix these styling cues so that you get a total balance to the car because you're gonna have styling cues and it'll look like a Christmas tree because each one is individualized but it doesn't blend with the others. On this car, everything just flows all together. Joe, I can sense, I know you have several concept cars, but this car, obviously, you've got a lot of passion towards, no doubt about it. Oh yeah, well, I mean, uh, there's a passion for all the concept cars, that's what I do. Uh, this car, by far, is many people's favorites. There's others that are their favorites. Sometimes uh, people surprise me with the ones that they pick out for their favorites. But this one has a universal effect on people. They just love it. And the color that uh, Virgil Exner picked out for it is really startling. It's a great, great color. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Okay. Wonderful. That's your Chrysler 300 Hemi. Uh, they, uh, as they say, they hopped it up at the factory with a cam and other little features to make it go kind of fast. And I understand they may have milled the heads and put in bigger valves. So it goes uh, very respectable. It's wonderful. Let me, uh, let me just get this side as well because I see we've got Chrysler firepower on the valve cover, as you can see. You know, it has surprisingly nice room under the hood here, too. Yeah, it, it fits very nicely, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good driver. It drives down the road very nicely. Let's start her up. Let's get uh, see it started, and then I'll get a little exhaust note. We'll right. shut it down. Yeah, no, I, I, right now I gotta let it cool off. All right, uh, we we'll just let it we, cool yeah, off. yeah, we just drove in. No problem, Great. Joe. Wonderful car, fantastic. Joe, thanks so much for uh, your time and thanks for being on My Car Story. It's been my pleasure and I'm glad you were interested in it. Thank you. Thank you.